Hi, welcome to another session of Circuits and Networks. In today's gate exam under class 4, we are going to see network theorems, especially the problems which are based on Thevenin's and Norton's theorem. So, in this problem, a statement for linked answers question number 1 and 2 are given. What are those questions? For the circuit shown above, the Thevenin's resistance across A and B is uh, the options given are A, B, C, D. That is 0.5 kilo, 0.2 kilo, 1 kilo, and 0.11 kilo ohms respectively. And the second question is, we need to find out the Thevenin's voltage across the terminals A and B, which would be 1.25 or 0.25 or 1 volt or 0.5 volts. So, a frequently in gate exams, these kind of questions will be given where a common data will be given and questions will be framed. So this type of question, uh, one of the gate 2009, we can see which was asked for 22 marks. So how to solve this particular problem? Let us go with the first approach. That is finding out the terminus resistance across terminus A and B. So we need to find out uh, the resistance across A, B, that is across 1 kilo ohm. So for that, we need to find out the open circuit voltage across A, B and the short circuit current through A, B. With this, what we are going to get? We are going to get the R terminus, which is equal to open circuit voltage by short circuit current. This kind of approach that is specially employed when the dependent sources are given along with independent sources. So it's a very unique technique of Thevenin's theorem. So let us see how to find out the solution. So let us apply KVL to loop 1 and loop 2, which is shown in this particular figure where I1 and I2 are related as loop currents. So I'll apply KVL to loop 1 carrying current I1. And the next equation would be loop 2, which is carrying current I2. So for the first loop, I'm going to apply the KVL. I'm going to get minus 5 plus 2K I1 plus 2K sharing between these two loops. That is I1 minus I2 equal to 0. With this, the first equation can be framed as 4K I1 minus 2K I2 equal to 5 or 4000 I1 minus 2000 I2 equal to 5. Similarly, when we employ the KVL to the loop 2, we are going to get 2K I2 minus I1 plus 3 VAB. This is a voltage dependent voltage source plus 1K I2 equal to 0. So, reframing this equation as 2 and we need to observe from the given figure that VAB is nothing the voltage across 1 kilo ohm that is nothing but the resistance multiplied with the current I2. So, that is why it is equation 3 is framed as 1K I2. So, 1, 2, 3 equations are framed. Then let us substitute equation 3 and equation 2. Then we are going to get 2K I2 minus I1 plus 3K I2, wherever VAB is there, that is replaced by 1 I2. So this becomes 3K I2 plus 1K I2, which will be equal to, you can see here 3K, 1K plus 2K will give you the value as 6K I2 minus uh, 2K I1. And when it goes to the right hand side, it becomes 2K I1. In fact, we have I1 is equal to 3I2. Okay. After framing this equation as 4, let us substitute this equation 4 in equation 1. Then we can get 4K wherever you have I1 replaced with I2. So it becomes 3I2 minus 2K I2 is equal to 5. This 4 multiplied with 3 becomes 12. 12 minus 2 becomes 10, k, i2 equal to 5. In fact, i2 will be equal to 5 by 10, k, amperes. So, this becomes 0 0.5 milliamperes. So, this equation 5 will give you the value of current which is flowing in the current that is in 1 kilo ohm resistance. Okay. We need to obtain the value of voltage across 1K, which will be equal to 1K multiplied with current I2, which will be equal to 1K multiplied with 0.5 milliamperes. Thus, 
the voltage across 1 kilo ohm that is the open circuit voltage will be 0.5 volts. Let me frame this equation as 6 so that it is easy for us to solve the next problem. Pertaining to the statement. Okay. Now to find out the short circuit current, we need to short the AB terminals like this. This makes the voltage equal to 0. Therefore, we have voltage dependent voltage source over here. When VAB is equal to 0, 3 multiplied with 0 becomes 0 volts. Thus, this dependent uh, voltage source becomes shorted and current would be flowing through AB in this direction and 1 kilo ohm becomes dummy because short wire will overcome this 1 kilo ohm and the reduced network from the above network is shown in this point where the voltage dependent voltage source is short circuited and short circuit is flowing in this direction and hence the 2 kilo ohms which is once again shorted by this short circuit wire and 2 kilo ohms becomes dummy and finally we reach to this circuit where you have 5 voltage supplying 2 kilo ohms and the current which is flowing in this closed circuit is I short circuit. Therefore, I short circuit is equal to 5 divided by 2k which will give you the value as 2.5 milliamperes. Then according to the concept of turbulence resistance, we have open circuit voltage by short circuit current which we got the value as 0.5 volts by 2.5 milliamperes. This will give you as 1 by 5 kilo ohms. In fact, 0 0.2 kilo ohms is the right answer. So, this is how we need to solve these kind of problems when the independent sources and the dependent sources are given. In the next approach, we need to find out the terminal's voltage which we have already determined and according to the given options, option D is the right answer that is VOC is nothing but 0 0.5 volts. So these type of questions are frequently asked in gate exams especially statements related to two answers and the questions are framed. So if at all you solve the given problem, you will be able to find out the requirement according to the examiner who is going to ask the question according to the given options. Fine. Let us go with the next problem. The not and equivalent source in amperes as seen into the terminals x and y is dash. This is framed in 2014 under set 3 for 2 months. So this is the problem you can see over here. Uh, instead of resistors, uh, rectangular boxes are given but the units are in, uh, given in ohms and you have two voltage sources one is 5 volts and one is 2.5 volts and the terminals we have to see through x and y. So we need to find out only the not as equivalent source. So we need to find out the short circuit current across x and y. So what we are going to do here in the problem itself I am going to short this x and y. So short circuit the terminal x and y thereby the 5 ohms becomes dummy in nature. In fact, we are left over with two loops that is current flowing in loop 1 and current flowing in loop 2. You need to remember that this 5 ohms is dummy in nature. Okay, then apply KVL to loop 1 and loop 2 as we have done with the previous problem. I am going to get for loop 1 that is minus 5 plus 5 I1 plus 5 I1 minus I2 equal to 0. With this I am going to get 10 I1 minus 5 I2 equal to 5. Let me frame this equation as 1. Then equation to 5 I2 minus I1 that is this branch voltage. Then going to the 2.5 I2 and on the path we are going to get the value of voltage as minus 2.5 equal to 0. When you frame this equation in a proper way, you are going to get minus pi i1 
because you have here you have minus pi m1 and this 2.5 with 5 becomes 7.5 i2 equal to 2.5. So solving equation 1 and 2 we are going to get i1 equal to 1 ampere and i2 equal to 1 ampere. In fact the short circuit current is nothing but 1 ampere. So this is how the previous gradients of questions were framed and we need to solve them in fractions of seconds or probably in a one minute. So I hope you like this particular class where we got the basic concepts of Terminance and Norton's theorem. Please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for the future notifications. Thank you.